there's a side of filmmaking that everyone loves. And that's coloring. Good colors is a master skill of its own. There are about 10 million colors to choose from in the world. At a glance, it looks simple, but the truth is, it's an art, a skill, a gift. When I found out that Dehancer reached out to me, I was beyond stoked. A big part of my workflow is making things easy, saving time, if you would say. And I've seen so many other creators using Dehancer, and it was finally time for me to get my hands on this. As I've grown as a creator in the last five years, I realized that it's better to be the master of one than jack of all trades. I'm a DP, I'm an editor, however, I wouldn't call myself a colorist. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how Dehancer has improved my workflow. And spoiler alert, I love it. So we're gonna start out with this shot that I have from Malibu a few months ago. Really well shot, you know, lighting is very even. I like to start with a few nodes. You can do option S for a shortcut to make more of those. I'd say like four is good. I don't even think I'll use four. I'll do three for now. First thing you wanna do is just label your nodes. I start to label this as like primaries. So here, like I can do some basic adjustments like with exposure, lighting, white balance and yeah here i will also do any masks but in this case i probably won't because it's a pretty straightforward shot of like a guy at the beach as you can tell i'll add the last node as the plugin so this plugin is dehancer pro version 7.2 you're going to want to start by looking at your input this is like where you'll adjust your camera settings, match your source, your format, you know, just the basic things, kind of like a conversion LUT. I'm gonna go to choose camera, go to Sony, go down to A7S III. For you, I would pick whatever camera you have. I filmed it in S Gamu 3 Cine. Personally, that's the one that I recommend. Once you have that, you will wanna start by doing some basic adjustments. Um, I honestly think the shot, in my opinion, looks really good. It might be a little too yellow, ever so slightly. Um, so I might just shift that just a tad. I think that looks really good. And then once you notice, you'll head down to film and there's already a profile applied. You know, if you really don't have time to color, you could literally leave it like this. I like to take this a step further and there's a few that I personally like. I really like Godek Gold 200. That's a good one. I enjoy Cinecell 800T as well. Kodak Portra 800 and 400 is also another favorite of mine. For this one, I'm gonna do Kodak Portra 800. The next thing that I wanna do is adding the print. I feel like this is important because it's really gonna help you sell that look um, rather than it just being like a LUT. We have Fujifilm and we have Kodak 2383. For this one, I'm gonna use Kodak 2383 because I'm using a Kodak Portra 800. You can honestly use either or, but I personally just wanna make sure it kind of matches the look. So once you do that, you wanna head down to Film Developer and here's where you can kind of get creative. You always enable the clip first, obviously. Once you enable the clip, I like to bring up my color boost to really make it like pop. I think that's a good ballpark for now. I'm gonna add just a tad bit more contrast and then your gamma, I would bring all the way to the left kind of just like softens your highlights a little bit we'll head down to film compression this is really where you can like dial in your highlights and things like that it really just gives that roll off to your footage i will turn this on and you can tell just ever so slightly or softens this area right here on the left so i like to keep that on for most of my shots i prefer a very nice highlight roll off i tend to lean towards the right side more because it looks a little bit more of my style and impact is just how intense that effect is gonna be. I like to keep both of these a little bit more on the right side. And then we have tonal range. This is like the part of the image that it's going to attack. Obviously for tonal range, if you go all the way to the right, your whole image is just gonna look very flat. It's good to have some color separation between those. So I'm gonna leave that like run there. And then color density, I'm gonna bring that up all the way too. Now I'm gonna go to the color expand. This is the same kind of thing. Color expand will really just like, for an extreme example, if I push this all the way to the left, 
the highlights are just destroyed. So usually what I like to do is I just like to push the blacks a little bit to the right. It's kind of give it a little bit more punch, just like that. And then you have a few other things here that I really love. Um, color head is really cool because you can kind of get creative with the tints of your image. You know, it's kind of like a color mixer. Shift this to the right, it's gonna make it really red. But if you shift all three of these, you have a whole different look. I think it's too good to be mindful with this because you obviously can get really creative. So what I'll do is depending on the image, I'll just cool off the highlights a little bit. So this one, I'm gonna cool off the highlights just a little bit to the left. The yellows, I'm gonna make a little more yellow. And then the greens, I'm gonna bring a little bit to the right because I wanna add a little green to the shadows. A way that I like to see it is, is like it's a way of separating your image more. And when we turn on the color head, you kind of just have a little bit more separation in those shadows and those highlights. And then you can always warm it up and post still with that. So I'll leave that at that. We have film grains as well. I'm gonna go with 35 for a little bit more grain this time, but I'm gonna bring it down a little bit to maybe 10%. And then obviously halation. Halation is great because it just really makes your edges pop and it kind of just adds to that filmic look. And then we're gonna head down to Bloom and you know, with mist filters and stuff and the rise of those, you can tell like it just adds a really nice glow to the image and it looks amazing. Like I honestly prefer this. It's harder to take it out, but it's easier to add it in. So in my opinion, I just prefer to add this in post. I'm just gonna do a very subtle amount. I'm not a huge fan of how intense it can be sometimes. I think that's pretty good. I'd say like halfway. We're gonna go back to the top and we're gonna warm up this image because I really wanna have some more warmth in this. That's really good. It's And then I'm gonna shift the tint a little bit. I like the reds on the highlights. There's a lot of other things too you can do in this. You can add like foam borders. I'm gonna go to vignetting. I feel like vignetting is so important because it helps you focus the image. And honestly, even just like that, that looks really good. It just looks super honed in and really just adds focus to the subject. I'm gonna leave it just like that. One last thing that I like to do, and this is totally optional for your look, is I go back to the primary, create a hue versus sat on the greens and really just shift those greens to make them pop a little bit more. Adjust the warmth a little bit more here to push that image. You know, I feel like it could have a little more punch. So I'm gonna go back to Film Developer and add just a little bit more contrast. To be quite honest, I really like this too. So if you ever wanna use these for LUTs, so you'll scroll down to the bottom, click Generate LUT, and then export this as a LUT. Those are just two easy ways that you can kind of just color grade your videos. When I looked more into Dehancer, I want to show you that it isn't just limited to professional work. I use it pretty casually as well. And whenever I'm in an pinch and I want some really cool looking colors, I always use this. It takes literally like 30 seconds to pick a preset and then export it and easily post it to your story. And if you want any of these and save a little bit of money, there's a 10% off in my bio. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more videos like this.